How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another sorcery video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, I have a very exciting video because today I am opening up some of the very first, if not the very first, sorcery booster packs in existence. These are prototype packs that were sent to me by Eric Olafsson, you know, all transparency here. And um, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. I don't really know. I mean, they're booster packs. I don't know what's inside, but um, <laughs> it's going to be really cool. Sorcery is my most anticipated game of 2022. It's an absolutely fantastic, just in, in every respects type of trading card game. The art is amazing. The gameplay is unique and a ton of fun. I have a huge deep dive video on it on the channel. I think I was the first one to start covering sorcery and I just can't wait for it. There's also one other thing I want to announce before we get started. And it has to do with the most frequently asked question that I get about sorcery. When is the Kickstarter? When is the Kickstarter? Well, I have an official launch date for the Kickstarter. It is going to be March 15th. I will have a link in the description down below to the Kickstarter page right now where you can kind of like, you click the button so you get notified when it goes live. So yeah, it's really exciting. I've obviously notified myself because I will be purchasing some stuff in the Kickstarter. A couple quick things for the Kickstarter. There is no limit to the number of booster boxes that people can order. Um, so that's awesome. So you will not miss out. If you want to play sorcery, if you want to get in on this and just, you know, just join in in the fun, you can do that. There's no limit to the booster boxes. So you don't have to worry about whales and other people just buying it all up. But if you are a collector, if you're a diehard collector, there are going to be some tiers where there's some exclusive things just by the nature of what they are. So there's going to be original hand painted art, which is obviously very limited. Um, and there's going to be some collector type stuff like that. So I'm really excited. And um, yeah, let's open up some booster packs, man. Who wants to open up some sorcery booster packs? All right. I can't wait. Let's just do it. Um, I'm beyond excited. So here's the package that Eric sent me. We have this little uh, thing we're gonna check out first and then we'll, you know, we'll get to the, we'll get to the cards sooner rather than later. So here is a, a nice little insert that Eric sent me. I just wanted to show this off because it has some valuable information on it. Not just this gorgeous piece of artwork. I think the artwork is called Blizzard. I don't remember the name of the artist, but just like every other piece of art in sorcery, it is hand painted, hand drawn. This is obviously just like a print of it, but there's more. So it says, hello, Red Zone Rogue. I like the font you're using here, man. I heard you like opening packs. I do like opening packs. So here's a few sorcery test packs. Many things will change in the final version. For example, the boosters will have a nice print. The booster foil will be slightly thinner. The boosters will have an old style crimped ends. I think like he means like old Magic the Gathering style um, booster packs. Uh, cards will have a varnish finish. Cards will be slightly thinner. Cards will use a sharper and brighter offset print. Cards will have slightly more rounded corners and cards will have a nicer edge cut. So these are test test packs. These are test print booster packs. And I know a lot of the uh, the big collectors out there are probably thinking, why are you opening these? Shouldn't you save these? Are they gonna be worth a, a ton of money? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I wanna open up these packs because I love this game and I think it's just gonna be so much fun. So here we have, oh dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Here we have these packs and you know that they our test print because they don't even have the art on them yet. So let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. Just yeet it all onto the ground. And here we have our, I think there are 12. We have four, eight, 12. Yeah, there are 12 test print booster packs here. Um, I have opened up booster packs very similar to this, um, but uh, never any sorcery. I believe this is the first sorcery booster pack opening video just ever and i'm definitely gonna keep this this is gonna this is gonna have a nice spot in my uh in my studio absolutely beautiful piece first of all thank you eric for sending these to me and um allowing me to show these off to all of the card game fans out there especially people who are interested in sorcery because i'm so excited for this game so let's do it I i'm i'm hoping to see some cards that i've never seen before oh man the the uh, the packs are just very interesting, very hard. So I, I also don't know like the rarity breakdown of these. 
I don't know anything. Like, like I said, this is the first time I've opened up any booster packs. I think this is the first time anyone has opened up any sorcery booster packs. All right, we're gonna zoom in. And we have Body Swap. Elite magic that trades faces and places. Oh, I love this game, man, I love it. All right, let, let's, let's check out the card quality. Yo, so sweet, this is so sweet. Um, you, you know, he had all those stipulations, you know, like about the edges and the thickness. I think these are actually like pretty good as is too. So if he wants to make these like better quality, I'm, I'm down for it. Also, he said the, the corners will be more rounded, maybe like alpha, alpha print magic cards, alpha beta. Hmm. All right, I guess alpha was more, even more rounded than beta. Anyway, so we got some body swap action here. Swap the locations of two target minions and two target avatars or two target avatars. That's crazy because there is no, you can just do that. <laughs> like there is no, oh, I can think of some really cool stuff. If you like pick up a bomb and then swap spaces with like your dude and their dude and your dude's carrying the bomb. So it just puts it right into their base. Ah, oh, sweet. So this is an elite card. We have this Kite Archer. I think this is one of the ones that was in the, the starters, at least the starters that I got. I know the starters that I got are significantly different now than the, but what's gonna end up being um, out there on print. There's been balance changes, card swaps, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm not gonna go over every single card. Ooh, Land Deed. I love the art in this one. Uh, and it says, exceptional relic of indisputable claim. The controller of this deed controls the site <laughs> at its location. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, cool. So we have Land Surveyor, Genesis Draw a Site. That's pretty good. It's a two strength, two power, uh, three cost card. So we have a, a mix. We have some exceptional cards. We had Elite. Oh, it's probably rare first. We had Elite, Exceptional, Exceptional, Exceptional. And then are the rest all ordinary? I, I bet the rest are all ordinary. So this is a simple village. This is a very good card. Genesis just summoned a one power foot soldier here. It's pretty good. Uh, Spring River is also really good. It's Genesis. Uh, you basically get a scry. You get a look at the top card of your spell book and you can, um, you can put it at the bottom if you want or bat it back on the top. We have another, no, it's a different river. That was a Spring River, this is a Summer River, but it does the same thing. <laughs> so you can just have a bunch of these. We have Inland Mercenaries, Ordinary, Mortals of Dubious Nature. When these mercenaries enter play, return one village in play to your hand. Ah, oh, interesting, very interesting. We have Midnight Rogue, yo. I gotta love the rogues. This is Stealth and Lethal. Has this changed? Did it always have Lethal? Is that, that's, that's pretty good. Stealth and Lethal is like quite good. That's a great card. We have Minor Explosion. Totally reminds me of Disintegrate from uh, Alpha Beta Unlimited Revised Magic the Gathering. It's a cool card. Miracle Workers. Spellcaster, if one of your other minions dies near these healers, return both to your hand. Oh, interesting. Muck Lampreys, holy gross, <laughs> this is so gnarly. Burrowing and Submerge. We have Ogre Goons, yep, must attack an enemy, minion if able. We have Old Salt Anchorman, this is the one I have not seen. This is one cost, two attack. Uh, this Anchorman and nearby allies are immovable by enemies. They are an immovable object. And then we have Ordinary Counterspell, counter an ordinary spell as it is being cast. The zero cost card. I love the art. Love the art. So yeah, it looks like the breakdown, at least for these packs, we had uh, a rare, we had the uh, elite card, and then we had three exceptionals, and then a bunch of ordinary. So the way the wa rarity works is it also dictates the number of them you can have in your deck. So uh, ordinary cards, you can have up to four. Uh, exceptional, you can have three. Elite, you can have two. And then unique, you can only have one. So we're really pulling for the uh, the elites here. So let's, uh, elites and the un uniques. So we'll, we'll set these, we'll organize these out. So we have ordinaries, exceptionals, and then I'll we'll put the, we'll do ordinaries, exceptional, and then we'll put the uh, elites down here. All right, S second pack. These packs are very tricky to open too, just cause of the nature. I don't want to damage the corners of these at all, but yeah. Ooh, what is this? There's a there's so many cards in here that I haven't seen. I have, you know, kept up with sorcery, but I honestly just haven't scoured and read everything. I wanted to have a bit of an organic experience. Abundance, an elite aura of exuberant fruitfulness. I love it. I love the art on this card. I mean, I love, I, I'm gonna say that a lot. 
It says conjure at the intersection of two or four sites. Affected sites produce twice as much mana and elemental threshold. That's sweet. So you can put this on the intersection of some of your sites and give them a buff. If you're playing maybe like a two headed giant kind of thing, like a two V two, you can do this on your ally. That's sweet. I love this card. Ooh, this is a starter card. This is the Anui Undyne. It gets plus one power for each uh, site that forms a body of water that she's in, which is sweet. Also absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, I've never seen this one. All-terrain vestments. <laughs> oh, it's like an old diving suit. An exceptional relic for any adventure. The bearer of these vestments has submerged burrowing, burrowing and void walk. They also lose waterbound, firebound, earthbound, and windbound. That's awesome. That's such a cool card. Uh, accursed albatross. This, this bastard albatross. As airborne, uh, when a minion kills this albatross, all of the minions nearby enemies die. What? <laughs> what? That's insane. He just kills everything. Um, Oveline Dryads. One. It's a one cost one. You have one more mana. Huh. Ooh, it's a ramp card. It's like a, it's like a Llanowar elf kind of thing. It's a. That's sweet. That's gonna be a good one. Amazon Warriors. I think this one got buffed. It used to be a five five. At least the ones that I had was a five five. And now it's a 5-6. And did the art zoom out a little bit? I don't know. Beautiful. Ooh, I like this card a lot. Apprentice Wizard. It's a 3-drop. It only has one power. He has Spellcaster, but when you play him, you get a draw card. It's really sweet. I like this card a lot. Uh, this is just an ordinary unicorn. It's a 3-4 with gorgeous artwork. We have uh, Azure Ridge Caravan. 5-drop, 4 power. Summon on 2 adjacent sites. Occupies 2 sites. Oh, interesting. Beast of Burden. This beast can carry an allied minion. <laughs> an ordinary beast bears the wide world. The funniest part about this is you can put like massive things on this, like dragons and stuff. That, that's that's funny. We have the Belmont Longbowman. Just, man, it's so sweet. Black scorpions, they're just lethal, lethal scorpions. We have Blink, this card's really good. Uh, it's just a zero cost. It has, it's a quick card. There's not a lot of quick cards in the game. So this is pretty great. It says, move target friendly minion to a nearby site. If Blink is cast on your turn, draw a spell, which is sweet. Ooh, Blizzard, yo, we got it. We got it. Yeah, let's let's do it. Oh, dude, it's by uh, Jeff Mengus. Yeah. Um, this has got a lot of text on it. Conjure at the intersection of two or, two or four sites of which one is a water site. When minions are affected, or when minions on affected sites move or attack, instead roll a d20. 1 to 4 move left, 5 to 8 move up, 9 to 12 move right, 13 to 16 move down, 17 to 20 move or attack normally. Uh, gnarly? <laughs> That's pretty gnarly. We have Blood Ravens, uh, a cruel conspiracy, a cruel conspiracy of ordinary beasts. Airborne, uh, for every point of damage these ravens deal, you gain a life. Oh, it's got like a lifelink. Nice. I actually might have a lot of fun like playing with these and the Atlas cards. Oh, these, these actually feel really nice. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for the Kickstarter. Oh, dude, I'm so stoked. I, I'm savoring every, every bit of this. This is so sweet. Um, so the first card is going to be the rare. Ooh. I just got to open these. I don't want to go and damage the cards. There's an aqueduct. Oh, it isn't. It's literally an aqueduct. It says aqueduct on her. Um, all right. So what does the aqueduct do? All right. So aqueduct, it is. Ooh, it's like a dual land. Yo, let's go. So it says um, earth guides the flow of water in one elite site. So what it does, the site is both a village and a river. So it counts for villages and rivers and it adds both of each adds a water threshold and an earth threshold yo this is one of the dual lands sick that is sick we have chain lightning this was uh i played with this card the card's great like i said i'm not gonna go over all of them uh clamor harpies another one that i played with before basically if 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 the card was in that like two hour video where i went over every single card i will not be covering it even though they might have changed kona flame yo look at this thing that looks rad um, exceptional magic belches forth splash damage and it does like a cone nine damage at the at the, like the, the the epicenter here uh, deal damage in this pattern in any cardinal direction from your spellcaster oh man i love the spells in this game they're so sweet outback strider 
The art is fantastic. Ordinary mortal from a distant land. He may be summoned in any site in the leftmost or rightmost column, but not anywhere else. Weird. But he's got a, he's a 4-4. Four, four. He's got a 4 cost for 4. We have a Petrosian Cavalry. Uh, can move and attack right away when summoned. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So it's a 3-3 three, three that can just go to town. Pirate ship. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Uh, I think this is one that was added to the starter decks. Three cost, five power, but it's water bound, which means it has to be on a water site. And if it's not on a water site, it dies, which makes sense. It's a freaking ship, right? Plume Pegasus with artwork by Melissa Benson. Amazing. It's just a three cost three with flying or airborne, I should say. Oh, I love the polar bears. The polar bears can move between locations at the top and, top and bottom edges of the realms as though they were adjacent. Think like Pac-Man, right? You, it moves and then comes in on the other side. Oh, it's so good. We got the dromedary. Gotta love the dromedary. You can just load this up with uh, bombs and go to town. Rattlesnakes, pretty good. Burrowing and lethal. We have the nomads, plus one movement and fire immunity. Really good for um, if you're gonna be playing a lot of burn spells that do AoE damage because this splash damage and AoE damage hits your own dudes, right? Um, so you have to be careful. It's like, you know, D&D &D rules, right? Uh, so this one that has fire immunity, it's really good. So you can just, you know, launch your fireballs and, you know, cone of flames with impunity. Riptide, move target minion to an adjacent water site, draw a spell. Nice, we have roaming monster, oh, I love the art. Five for four, some of this monster to any site. Out of the blue, yeah, this is sweet. So you can just, this is gonna be a great way to finish off the game, right? You can just summon this right on your opponent's avatar. And then we have Midland Mercenaries. Which uh, realm is this? It is a wind. By the way, if you couldn't tell, the way you tell what realm it is, is by, it's, it's a little difficult, but it's all flavor, so that, that's what you get. Sacrifices, uh, you know, UI for flavor. So we have uh, the, the triangle, regular triangles of fire. We have the upside down triangle is water. We have the double triangles with a line is wind, and then a single triangle with a line that is upside down as well is earth. So that, that's how you can tell. That's how you can tell. And I think there are like, you know, non that as well. Um, yeah, what I'm really hoping to get, there are some of the avatars. I'm really hoping to get some of the avatars. That would be sweet. But honestly, it's just, it's just so much fun. Yo, Book of Kells. This is amazing. It's my name. Except that's not exactly how you spell it, but still, Book of Kells. I love it. So, a uh, unique, oh, it's unique, let's go. This is a zero cost unique, a unique relic to illuminate the soul. The bearer of this book, if it has spellcaster or is an avatar, it has tap, draw spell, and gain a life. Yo, that's so good. That is so good. That's awesome. I love it even more that it has my name. <laughs> A uh, magnetic muzzle is brutal. An exceptional relic of eternal bondage. The bearer of this muzzle deals no damage and loses all abilities. Brutal. The muzzle must be picked up by a minion. If able, it can't be dropped. <laughs> yeah, you're muzzled, yo. We have Mariner's Curse. This is a Decemberist song. <laughs> this is a three drop exceptional aura of unforgiving seas. Conjure on two or four sites of which one, at, uh, one, of, one of which is at least a water site. I apologize, it's difficult for me to talk. Minions in the affected sites are forcibly submerged and can't surface, and those sites are water sites. Uh, that's really good. Minions in the affected sites are forcibly submerged. So you can play this at the intersection of four sites, and then all of your opponent's dudes will just drown. That's brutal. That's really good. We have a Marine Voyage. Ship your minions on one body of water any way you like. I love how it uses the word ship and not move. Just the flavor is so good. We have Tuft Turtles. Uh, it's two attack, three, do three drop iron skin. Seems pretty good. Unearth, unburrow a minion. Uh, draw a spell if the minion unburrowed near a spellcaster of yours. Um, uh, draw a spell if the minion unburrowed near a spellcaster of yours. The, the wording should be draw a spell if the minion unburrowed is near a spellcaster of yours, so there's a little, little bit of, a little bit of wording here. Still fantastic. Also the art, Tony. Oh yeah, uh, I, I always don't know how to say this dude's name. It's Tony like, Scood Scood. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. 
We have the uh, Unland Eel 2-2. Two -two. Uh, submerged, waterbound. This eel gains plus two power when attacking as it surfaces. That's pretty sweet. We have Unravel. Dude, look at that art. Ordinary magic of rot and rebirth. Destroy target relic or undead minion. That seems really good. That seems really good. Wall of Air. Uh, conjure at the intersection of two sites. This wall extends one width to the left and right and blocks movement of airborne minions. Ah. Genesis draw spell. Yo, this is good. Wall of Fire. We got Wall of Air and then Wall of Fire. I imagine it's probably the same thing, right? Conjure at the intersection of two sites. This wall extends one to the left and uh, left and right and is placed between sites vertically and one step up and down if it's placed horizontally. Minions passing through the wall are dealt four damage. Yo. Well, oh, wait, hold on. We got Wall of Air, Wall of Fire, Wall of Ice. Wall of Ice says, Conjure at the inter intersection of two sites. This wall extends one step uh, left and right and it blocks the movement of ground minions. Genesis draw spell. Okay, so the air and the air and ice are like, you know, basically the same thing, but for ground and for um, and for air, airborne, and then fire just burns them. And then whirling blades. <laughs> this dude has so many hands. It looks like a it looks like a enemy from Elden Ring. It says a vicious vortex of ordinary magic. Target friendly airborne minion. Oh, it has to be airborne. Interesting. Okay, so target friendly airborne minion moves up two steps in a cardinal direction and deals its attack damage to all enemies it whirls past. You do that with that dragon. Got some boars. Some big pigs. We have an arid desert. Uh, just you can ping something for one damage when you play it, which is pretty good. And then we have another river. Beautiful. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know how rare some of the cards are relative to other cards. Like, I don't know if there's like a, a big chase, like a uh, Black Lotus style card or something like that. Don't know. Literally don't know. Ooh, I have seen this one. This is one that was in my starter deck. This is Maelstrom, a unique site of uh, inelecuable malevolence. <laughs> Genesis, uh, for, for two water, if you have two water threshold, Genesis. Move all avatars and minions one step toward the maelstrom. I think my version did not provide a water threshold, so I'm glad it does now. We have Sea Raider, good old Viking. He has his basic 3-3. When this raider deals damage to an enemy minion or avatar, you may pillage the top card from their atlas or spellbook. Set it aside until the uh, end of turn and treat it as though it was, it was your, uh, treat it as though it was in your hand. That's awesome. This card's really sweet. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Secret Tunnel. This card's sweet. So Secret Tunnel is an exceptional site to help you in times of trouble. It says your minions at unburrow may do so here. Basically, that what that means is if you have a minion burrowed anywhere on the map, if you unburrow, instead of unburrowing where it is, you can unburrow at the Secret Tunnel, which is awesome. Yo, we got the crabs. That's <laughs> the Sedge Crabs. Uh, it's a 3-3 with Iron Skin, and they can only move sideways. Because they're crabs. I love it. Dispel. Yo, the art. Look at this. It's so good. Destroy target aura or relic. Yeah, that's awesome. Dodge roll is great. Target minion in harm's way moves to an adjacent location. Cancel the attack or spell targeting the minion. Really sick. We have a dark tower. God, the art and flavor. Genesis, gain one man until end of turn. It's kind of like a, like a ramp kind of thing. A gothic tower, gain one man until end of turn. We got, I got a got a pack of lands here. A humble village. This is one that summons a one power foot soldier. Drown. I've not seen this one yet. Target minion on a water site is submerged. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Just kill kill any dude that doesn't have a submerge. Entangled terrain. I think this was in one, the starters that I played. Um, really nice. Extinguish. Counter target fire spell or destroy a fire near your spell caster. Interesting. It's a zero cost. Hmm. Fenvale Muse, gorgeous. Jeff Mangus, dude. It's just a two for one spellcaster. Beautiful card. Fey Changeling, look <laughs> like grody little thing. This changing may be played on any occupied site. Unsummon target minion there when you do. That's sweet. It replaces it. Firebolts, yo. Look <laughs> at this fist punch. Jeff Easley, dude. It says the spellcaster fires three bolts, each in a cardinal direction. They each deal one damage to the first enemy they hit. That's awesome. That's so sweet. Oh, this is so good. Um, you can't see, but I have a big dumb grin on my face because this is just so much fun. Man, I cannot wait for this game to finally launch. There's the Kickstarter coming up, but what is this? 
I can't wait for the game to launch. This is such a fun game. Um, Emprian Net, an exceptional relic of unbreakable entrapment. Uh, oh, this one's exceptional. Hmm. Interesting. So, usually we have a, an elite card. Well, we'll see. We'll see how this how this uh, pack shakes out. So, conjure the site near a conjure on a site near a friendly minion. All minions are immobile and can't attack. If there are no minions here, return the net to its owner's hand. It just nets everything. Holy, holy boosh, dude. I love the art too. It's got a big old dragon in there. Oh yeah, so yeah, these are exceptional. Hmm, maybe this pack doesn't have a rare. Because this was unique, unique, and these ones are elites. Right, was this one elite? Uh, yeah, it's elite. Okay, yeah, hmm, interesting. Okay, anyway, enlarge. This was, uh, I started at card, I think. Just target minion gains plus seven power until end of turn. It's quick, so it's really, really good in combat. We have enlist. Search your spell for a non-unique mortal card and add it to your hand. This seems really freaking strong. Uh, cost two. It's a tutor. Uh, seems good. Seems real good. We have a snow leopard. Ooh, spectral stalker. I love the art on this card. It's a very simple card. Oh, they, bu they buffed it up. I think it was a two-two. What I mean by two-two is cost two, power, uh, power over here. So if I say two three, uh, cost two, power three. Anyway, it's just a void walker. Yo, spin attack. Target allied minion deals damage equal to its power to other minions near it. <laughs> Makes sense. Swamp Buffalo. That's just a one cost two. That's a, a one two. Two two airborne submerge. This is a starter deck card that I've seen. That I've seen. Teleport. Teleport target minion to any site. Dude. <laughs> Dude. That seems good. Yo, look at the art on this one. Tor Shamar Trinket. It's ordinary trinket. The bearer of this trinket has plus one power. At the end of turn, return the trinket to its controller's hand. Oh, weird. Hmm. It's probably some combos or something with that. Uh, Tuft Turtles again. We have Unearth again. Um, Unland Eel and Unravel. Hmm. Yeah, that pack just didn't have a... That pack just didn't have a rare in it. <laughs> well, these are test packs, so, you know, things like that are bound to happen. Let's, let's get on to to this pack here. What do we have at the front? Ooh, ooh, ball lightning. This is a elite magic. I think this is another one that was added to the starters. It basically acts like a you think a ball lightning would. Launch this ball in a cardinal direction from the spellcaster, deals seven damage to the first avatar or minion it hits. Excess damage carries on to whatever it hits next. Uh, when it runs out of damage or hits the void, destroy it. That's awesome. We have a hillock basilisk. Exceptional Mythic with a Stony Stare. I think it just kills stuff, right? Minions on the site directly in front of the Basilisk are petrified and they lose all abilities and can't fight or move. Because they're technically not, not dead, they can be unpetrified. We have a uh, House Arn Bannerman. This card is really good. Four drop, two power. Uh, other nearby friendly minions gain plus one power. That's really good. Hunting Party, five four, range plus one, nearby stealth is negated. Ah, oh, interesting. We got some Blood Ravens. Murder, whoops, murder of ravens. We have, yo boy, <laughs> look at this. It probably does water. Yeah, it's the counterpart to the, the one that dealt with the fire ones. Boil, counter target water spell or destroy a water near your spell caster. Yes. We have bone rabble. When this rabble dies on a non-water site, burrow it instead. They can unburrow as if they had burrowing. That's sweet, they just don't die. They keep coming back. Border militia. Summon a one power foot soldier on a friendly, on each friendly site, or in each friendly village near an enemy site. That's sick, dude. <laughs> That's really sweet. We've got Bosque Troll. It's just a one power, oh, it's a one three. That seems really good. We have Barry. Target minion uh, or relic on a non-water site is burrowed. We have Cauldron Cones. Two one, or Cauldron, Cauldron Crones. It's just a two one spellcaster. Cave Trolls, it's a 2-3 Burrowing, big ol' nose. Cloud Spare, Airborne Movement, plus 2, 2-2. Two, two. Common Sense, okay. Search your spellbook for an ordinary card, reveal it. Oh, dude, I love, I love the flavor. Search your spellbook for an ordinary card, reveal it to your opponent, and draw it, shuffle your spellbook. It's a one drop, you get to search a common card. It's called Common Sense. I love that. Coral Reef Kelpie, 3-3 three, three Submerged, with uh, Melissa Benson artwork. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, we still got a few more packs packs to go um got my fingers crossed for an avatar come on we got we can, we can get an avatar 
I really don't know if they're even in here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how much of the set is in this test print. I literally don't know. Ooh, blasted oak. Look at this. An elite relic of grim persistence. This oak can't be picked up. Well, yeah, it's a big old tree, right? Spells or abilities targeted nearby target this oak instead, which can be targeted as though it were a minion, but is unaffected by things that would affect minions. That's kind of insane. This is kind of insane. Card seems busted, dude. We have Ice Lance. I think Ice Lance got nerfed. I think it did more damage. 5, 3, and 1 damage to target minions and a line from the spellcaster. Maybe it did do this. I thought it did like 7, 5, 3, 1 or something. Hmm. Uh, Imperial Pikemen. These Pikemen deal combat damage before any other minions they fight. Oh, they got first strike. 4, 4. So that's pretty good. Uh, we have Instant Recall. The art is so good. Zero cost. It's quick. Exceptional magic of quick and a last resort. Teleport any number of friendly minions to locations near your avatar. If successful, disjoint attacks and spells. That's insane. That's insane. So you can like advance with your army, right? And if your avatar gets threatened, you can just boom, teleport all your dudes back. It's like the, the teleport spell from um, Warcraft 3. We have some gray wolves. Gotta love me some gray wolves. Melissa Benson artwork. They get plus one power for any other gray wolves nearby. So you wanna make a gray wolves deck. There's no limit. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, it's like uh, Plague Rats. There's no limit to the number of Grey Wolves you can have in your deck. That's amazing. Dude, Eric, that's so cool. That, oh, I think I, I think there were two cards there. Yeah, yeah. we have the uh, Aveline Dryads. I can see the what they meant by some of the, the print things. It's still good, good quality. So this is one of the, the ramp cards, right? One one that gives you one additional mana. We have Amazon Warriors. Beautiful. We have the Wizard that I really like. Unicorn, uh, we have the Caravan, Beast of Burden, uh, Belmont Longbowman, Scorpions, Blink, and a Blizzard. Got some dupes there. Th those dupes are good though. Um, I'm gonna actually build <laughs> with these cards, like build decks with these cards, and I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna play with them, like 100%. Gonna play with these cards. Um, what is, th what is this? Alchemical hack. Yo, got to call in uh, Edward and Alphonse. Quick and elite magic of divine transformation. It costs zero. Uh, change the text of target spell or card in play by replacing all instances of one element with another permanently. For example, you may change waterbound to firebound. Oh, weird. It's a very interesting card. I think you can, you can do some tricky stuff with that one. We have Cerberus in Chains, 4-5. Uh, the Cerberus is chained to the location it was summoned to and can't move further than adjacent locations. Unleash the Cerberus if the site leaves play. <laughs> Dude, this is, that is sweet. Uh, oh, we got the Brabnar Bullfrog. Or the, not Brabnar, that's a different game. Brob, Brob, wait. Brobdignag, Bull, Brobdignag Bullfrog, there we go. It basically eats things. It's a 5-3 and it says uh, it swallows and carries the first minion it attacks in its belly until it leaves play. Uh, you can eat like mountain giants, which is hilarious. We have Blaze. Uh, target minion gets plus three movement and can pass through minions. It deals three splash damage on each site in its wake this turn. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love this. We have another little changeling. Beautiful muse. Ooh, Cyclopean mummies. Yo, I, I see what you did there with the Cyclopean mummies. So it's a three drop. Three power, burrowing. These mummies interplay burrowed on any site. Ordinary undead emerge from below. Also, the art is metal as hell. Uh, night, or dead of night demon. Two three with stealth. Deep sea mermaids. Three two with submerge. Genesis draw a spell from the bottom of your spell book. Oh, weird. This card seems really good. Disenchant. Seen that before. Dispel. Yo, <laughs> really nice. Back to back. Uh, dodge roll, drown is sweet, entangle terrain, and then the extinguish to go with the boil. All right, we got through our packs. Um, I I don't know if it's coming across, but I can't understate just how much of a of a joyous how 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 much of a joyous experience this is. Basically, is what I what I was getting at. We kind of bent bent the card a little bit. All right, so we have ghost ship, dude. That's awesome. Elite undead spirits sell between realms. 
This ship moves freely in the void and on water sites. It can carry any number of minions. That's awesome. That is metal. We have Earth Ward Gem, Melissa Benson. Uh, an exceptional relic of land protection. Nearby earth damage is reduced by two. Bearer can't be targeted by earth spells. Huh. Weird sideboard tech against earth. Hmm. I wonder if there's one for each. Probably. This, by the way, this set will have 400 cards in it. So, yeah. <laughs> East, West, Dragon. Dude, oh, Dragon. Five drop, three attack. Look at this dragon. Um, airborne. An exceptional serpentine dragon emerges. As long as this dragon is in the leftmost or rightmost column, it and allied minions can move freely to any site in those columns. Dude. Oh, dude. This is so good. This is so good. Guile Sirens. Gorgeous. 3-2 um, Submerge. Uh, these sirens lure the closest enemy minion of your choice in a straight line of sight into moving closer to them if able. I mean, yeah. That's what sirens do. The, the flavor is so good. We have some Avaline Dryads. Amazon Warriors, beautiful. The wizard that I like, ooh, get a playset of these. Yeah, we got we got a lot of the dupes here. Um, Longbowmen, Black Scorpions, Blink, Blizzard, Blood Ravens. That's actually good because it'll give some of my decks consistency that I want well, you know want to build out. Still hoping for oh, there's some there's some busted like talisman stuff that I've seen as well. Like I don't really know exactly what they do or i don't remember exactly but there's a couple cards that i saw previewed early that are like busted chains of prometheus this is a seven drop which is insane a unique relic of hindered ambition genesis return nearby minions to their owner's hand minions can't be summoned nearby what <laughs> what so nearby means um basically on the location and then all around the location uh that's crazy <laughs> this is kind of crazy uh you can just yeet your opponent's whole squad um like you play this in your opponent's area and so they can't play dudes and then also like their their guys get yeeted that card's insane we have a nimbus gin i think this one got changed i think it's way better now it's a six four Airborne Spellcaster, an exceptional spirit of turbulent terror. I think it used to just be Airborne Spellcaster, but now it has the effect. Discard a spell from your hand, deal three damage to a nearby minion or avatar, which is really good. That's really, really good. Ooh, we got an Observatory. Exceptional site uh, to study the future and the past. Genesis, look at the top four cards of your spellbook and put them back in any order. That seems really good, just for playing a land. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Old Growth Forest. Uh, exceptional sight of smothering gloom. Yeah, I can, the art really comes through. Uh, incoming ranged or airborne attacks are blocked here. Dude, you can just hide in your, your forest. Got a roaming monster. Root spider. That's a Melissa Benson artwork if I ever seen, <clears throat> if I ever saw one. 3-3 uh, three, three, burrowing. If this spider is burrowed, minions on the site can't move away. Another Melissa Benson. Uh, scarabs. Did it always do this much damage? I don't remember, but the scarabs are good. When they die, they explode and they do like AOE damage. It's crazy. Sandstorm, the art looks sweet. An ordinary aura of blistering confusion. Okay, this is kind of, it's like Blizzard. Yeah, it, it's the same thing as Blizzard, but on a fire site. That makes sense. We have Sandworm. It's a four, five. Oh, did it get changed? Burrowing Firebound. Hmm. Scarecrow, what? A gaunt and ragged ordinary relic. At the start of each player's turn, nearby airborne minions they control must move away from the scarecrow. You can put this and make the dragon run away. That's hilarious. We have scent hounds. Look at these good boys. Uh, it's a 2 3. Ordinary beast with extraordinary sniffers. Yo, I love this card. I love it. Uh, nearby enemy stealth is negated. I love he just wrote sniffers. He just wrote sniffers right on the card. Uh, sea serpent. What is this? Bedrock. Definitely the same artist that did the uh, old growth forest. Nearby sites are indestructible and can't be altered. Hmm, interesting. You can definitely blow up sites in this game. So, we have the Dark Tower, and we have the Remote Desert. All right, last, last Pakaru. I just gotta say, once again, thank you, Eric, for sending me these. It's an absolute joy, and I'm so glad I get to share this with everyone. The cards are amazing. This game is so much fun to play. As with you know, any game that I cover on my channel, I won't really cover it unless I think it's a, a fun game to play. And I think Sorcery really takes the cake on a lot of them. It's an absolute blast. 
It's one of the games that my partner and I keep returning to and keep playing. It's a, it's a ton of fun. And I think it's gonna be one of the only card games that I can actually play with her and that she really, really likes playing. So that, that says a lot for this, so. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Bottomless Pit. A unique sight of regret and despair. I'm glad our last card was a unique and it's a cool one. Only minions with airborne can be played on or enter this site. Ah, oh, so this, this one, by the way, um, doesn't have a threshold at all. It's kind of like a generic card. So you can just, you know, doesn't provide any threshold. Um, but yeah, that's, that's cool. That is cool. Bottomless Pit is sick. Um, so yeah, that, that's cool. Here we have Mountain Pass. Uh, only one, oh yeah, Mountain Pass is cool. So, pun intended. <laughs> so an exceptional site of narrow access. Only one ground minion may uh, occupy the site at a time. So you can normally just stack minions up, but this is a good way to like funnel them through. So you can set up things where you have walls on the sides and then a mountain pass to funnel funnel dudes one at a time through. That's the kind of cool stuff you can do. I love the art on this headless haunt. It's a three five void walk, which is great, but I think it teleports every turn. Yeah, at the start of your turn, determine a random location by rolling a d20, teleport the haunt there. We have a Highland Falconer. Genesis, move target airborne minion to the same site as this falconer and ground it until end of turn. Ah, interesting. You can do that to that dragon. I keep bringing up that dragon. There's, there's a big dragon, it's, it's scary. We have Disenchant, critical strike. Target minion deals twice its power in combat damage until end of turn. Uh, that's awesome. You can crit them, get a crit. Uh, Cyclopean mummies, dead of night demon, deep, deep sea mermaids, got another dispel, dodge roll, drown, entangle terrain, extinguish, and then last card, the absolutely gorgeous Fenvale Muse. Man, this is so much fun. Uh, let's take a look at the like uh, rare and unique cards we got. Well, not, I shouldn't say rare, technically they are um, elite. So let's, let's set aside all the elite cards and then set aside the unique card. This Book of Kells is my favorite one, by the way. Um, and the dual land is really awesome as well. I would love to get all of the dual lands. Uh, so abundance is elite, elite, uh, unique. This one's crazy, unique. All right, so we got a couple of uniques. These are the cards you can only have one of in your deck because they're like super powerful. Um, this this one is awesome, the Maelstrom. It just says move all avatars and minions one step towards the Maelstrom, which is super, super good. And then Bottomless Pit is just kind of cool. And then the Book of Kells and the Chains are, are kind of insane. I cannot wait for this Kickstarter to go live. Like I said, March 15th. Um, I know I'm going to be backing it uh, sizably and that's not to invest. I just want more cards to play with. I want, I want all the cards, dude. Um, yeah, just look at this stuff. This is so much fun. You know, <laughs> find yourself something that sparks joy. This definitely sparks joy. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I know this was kind of a, a long opening video for only opening up like a 12 packs, but sorcery is a, an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, I love the flavor. I love the gameplay. The art is amazing. Uh, it's it's really god this art on the the Kona flame is so cool yeah so thank you so much for on this landy god the art is so good <laughs> just thank you thank you so much for watching everyone uh, i will definitely have more sorcery content in the future i don't know if i can get some gameplay but maybe we'll get some gameplay sometime maybe of my partner and i playing i don't know the gameplay for sorcery is hard to record um because you play on a giant grid Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you next time for some more card game content. Have a good one, everyone.